Now, the president's tweets about apparently non-existent wiretapping by President Obama were apparently based on reporting of actual wiretaps that may have revealed contacts between Trump campaign advisors and Russians known to U.S. intelligence. In 11 days, the House Intelligence Committee will hold its first public hearing on Russia's apparent meddling in U.S. politics. And as lawmakers review evidence, classified and declassified, one Democratic congressman on the Intelligence Committee just launched a web page to try to connect the dots between President Trump and his inner circle and Russian officials, based on publicly available information. It also includes what we've learned about Russia's meddling and, of course, the country's history of horrific human rights violations. That website's creator is Congressman Eric Swalwell from California. He joins me now. He's the top Democrat on the Central Intelligence Agency subcommittee of the House Intelligence Committee. Congressman, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me back, Jake. So you've laid out in your website the known links between Trump advisors and Russians. For instance, Jared Kushner meeting with the Russian ambassador, Kislyak, for example, or, or Secretary of State Tillerson, who was once head of ExxonMobil and had dealings with Russian business interests. A critic might say, so what? That's not evidence of any wrongdoing. What would you say back? Yeah, th th certainly right now, this investigation has put a lot of dots up that continue to get connected. One that uh, I would also add is in June 2016, it's revealed publicly that Russia is attacking our democracy. A month later, Carter Page, a foreign policy advisor for the president, with permission of the campaign, travels over to Russia. That's another uh, critical piece of evidence. But right now, what the public is asking is, what were the personal, financial, and campaign ties that the president and his team had with Russia. And we wanted to piece this together in an unclassified way so the public could follow along and also see the influence that has taken place. Because you have Jeff Sessions, who was tough on Russia, meets with the Russian ambassador a number of times, changes his stance. The Republican Party wants to help Ukraine as Russia is moving in on Ukraine, goes to the convention, changes the platform. So it's not just Russia ties, it's a change in policy. So this is all public information that you're putting on the website, but you're on the House Intelligence Committee. You must know more than the rest of us do about any of this. Is there any evidence you've seen of actual wrongdoing, of actual collusion? We're undergoing that investigation right now. And that the pledge that our chairman and the ranking member have made is that we will follow the evidence. And there's going to be a number of tests as we go forward. One will be, are we allowed to interview all of the witnesses? particularly Carter Page, Roger Stone, others who were with the Trump campaign? Will we be able to see the president's tax returns? That would tell us a lot about his financial dealings with Russia. And if we are, I would say, and I would take them at their word, that we're going to follow the evidence. It's also, Jake, I think in the president's interest, if these are all mere coincidences, to clear the clouds surrounding this presidency. Well, what will you, what will you do if it turns out that they are coincidences, or at the very least you can't prove anything more than the guy who was head of ExxonMobil dealt with a country that had a lot of oil, or a guy who was the son-in-law of the president met with one of many ambassadors. What will you do then? Well, then I would just say it's bad judgment if the president wants to embrace a country where it's still pretty clear that they attacked us. But as far as whether there were ties, and those ties also included working with the Russians, that's what we want to run down right now. Which of these connections that you lay out on your webpage concerns you the most? Are you most concerned about Carter Page and Roger Stone? You singled them out. Yeah, Roger Stone uh, would intimate throughout the campaign that more information was coming through WikiLeaks. And our intelligence committee, uh, our intelligence community has said uh, with full confidence that WikiLeaks was working with the Russians to disseminate information that the Russians had hacked. So he's another individual uh, where it looks like we need to know more about what his connections were as this uh, active measures campaign by the Russians was taking place. Now, Congressman, you've called for an independent bipartisan commission to investigate Russian interference in the election. Do you not have faith in your own House Intelligence Committee and the chairman to conduct a thorough inquiry? Yeah, the, the lane that we uh, conduct this in is one that is uh, mostly done in secret. And so I think the best way to uh, make this available to the public and the best way to really depoliticize this because it's, it's become a little too partisan and the best way I think to debunk a lot of the myths that are out there would to have a 9-11 style commission. I worked with Lee Hamilton who was the co-chair uh, of the 9-11 commission to write our bill. Every Democrat supports it. Walter Jones is the first Republican who's come on board. But I would like to take this outside of Congress to understand what happened and most importantly how we can protect future elections. The Senate Intelligence Committee the deal uh, made between uh, the Democrat and Republican there, Warner and Burr, says that they could subpoena the president's tax records, but the chairman would have to sign off on it. Uh, 
Do you have that same deal in the House Intelligence Committee, and do you think that uh, Chairman Nunes would, would go along with that? The deal we have is that we will follow and pursue all leads. And for me, that includes the President's tax records. He has uh, passed uh, ties uh, with Russians as far as his own business dealings. And so I think it would be instructive for us to know uh, whether his taxes show any business dealings with Russians and whether those Russians were individuals involved with the Russian government. So yes, I intend, uh, and I know my colleagues on the Intelligence Committee uh, on the Democratic side intend to ask for that. Congressman Eric Swalwell, Thanks, Democrat Jake. of California, appreciate it. Thank you, sir.